Hi guys, my name is Pratik Singh and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have been writing on PowerShell automation, cloud computing and Python scripting for a couple of years now on my website ridicurious.com which you can see on your screen right now. I'm also in process of writing a book called PowerShell Guide to Python which is a comparative approach to learn two scripting languages at once efficiently. Please go give the website and the book a shot. You may love it. In this video, we are going to look into four ways to send PowerShell console output to null. Often you will come across situations when you want to perform an operation and at the same time suppress any output which is sent to the PowerShell console. So for example, if I run mkdir command which is to make a new directory and provide a name here, let's suppose new folder. When I run this command, you see a result sent to your PowerShell console. In some scenarios, you would want to suppress this. Another use case could be when loading assemblies in PowerShell. So if I do something like system dot reflection dot assembly and use the method load partial name and herein I type system dot windows dot forms. When I load this assembly, you see it returns an output to your console. So this could be another use case where you want to suppress the output. All right, so we'll go ahead and look into the four methods with which you can actually suppress this output which is sent to your console. Let me just clear the screen first. So the first approach is using the out null commandlet. Let's suppose I'm creating a new file using the new item commandlet. So I'll type new item and in item type, I will provide file and I'll provide it a name. Let's suppose sample.txt. So when I run this, it throws an output on my console. To suppress this output, you can simply pipe it to out null commandlet. Let's provide another name. Let's make it sample1.txt. And now when I run this commandlet, it does not returns any output. But when I do an ls, you will see that a file has been created. The second approach is more of a C sharp flavored trick. So here we use void type accelerator. Void is nothing but a short name for this system.void class. You must be aware that we can also create arrays using the array list class. So I'll do something like system dot collections dot array list. So I'll create an array variable here and I can even add elements here. But when I add any element here, let's, let's suppose I'll add an element one. But when I run it, it returns the index of that. Element. Similarly, let me add few more values here. So when I keep adding the values, it will keep returning me the, the index of that value. There would be a couple of scenarios when you want to suppress this output when an element is added to the array. So I'll just simply add another element here, but I'll precede it with the void type accent. So now when I run this, you don't see an output, but if you see the actual value of the array, you see that element has been ad added, but there was no output returned on your console. So the next approach is to redirect your output to the null value. For this scenario, we'll take another example. So I'll create a simple form here. So I'll do a new object system dot windows forms. And now I'll just use the show dialog method to run this. So this will this will launch and form onto my screen. But when I do any operation like close, you will see it returns uh, the output which I have chosen, which was cancelled. In order to suppress this output on your console, you can also use the re redirection operator and provide dollar $null var variable here. In order to suppress this output, you can simply do a redirection to dollar $null. So now let's run this again and see what we get. So I'll go ahead and hit close again. And now you don't get an out. Fourth and the final approach is achieved by assignment to the null variable. So let's suppose I am making a new directory using the mkdir command and name of the folder is new. To suppress the output on your console, you simply assign the output to a null variable. So I'll do something like $null equals to mkdir new. So when I run this, you don't get anything on your console. There's no output, but when I run ls command, you see that the folder has. So guys, that's all. We just looked into four ways to send output to null in PowerShell. If you love my content, don't forget to send your support in form of likes and comments on this video. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, which is a motivation for me to create more such videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.